No, I'll be as quick as I can. Hello. That's just farmer products, non non hazardous. Yeah, DGR two eight four eight. Thank you. No, no, no. It's non temperature. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, happy new year. Happy new year. Cheers. Right. Lane 195. These are my tickets. The first one is the. I'll just switch off the engine there. Um, the first. Oh, shut up. The first one is my boarding card, my meal card, and my exit card for the far side. This is the piece of paper that you display in the window. So it tells the guys who are loading the boat that you didn't just come from another line. That you're actually to load on this and it says the date the 30th of December and the and the 1725 is the uh, departure time so that has to that has to go there somewhere in the front so they can see it so the next thing to do is to put everything back especially the likes of passports and everything has to be put back in your bag you have to get into the routine of doing that because it's the only way to, f to keep stuff from getting lost and misplaced and, and giving you a, a panic attack is to make sure that everything is put back in its bag whenever it's finished. So, there are the delivery dockets in case anyone wants to check them or look at them. And there's my bag. Now I'm just going to close that. Right, delivery dockets bag, and that that up there is my important shelf. I have a shelf that's like sort of critical shelf. In other words, that's where the important stuff goes, and that's it. This will go into my um, wallet. You can see I only came out of here yesterday. Look, I only came out of here yesterday, and I'm back down here again today. Now, what's this? Some of this stuff probably doesn't need to be in here. That's a reservation receipt from the hotel. Um, yeah, so. I will give this, I'll cut, take this off, cut this off here. Right, and I'll leave that there for the, the guys who are loading the boat. And the rest of it will go inside here. Now. I'd say we're going to start loading now in a few minutes. I think the first ones are already loading here. So. I get my, um, I get in preparation. There goes Georgie Transport Air Cargo Services. Ah, there's only about 10 or 12 trucks. But it's it's three times as many as there were the last couple of times it was on. So I just wait for my turn.
This is Dover 8. I'm not quite sure what the boat is, so maybe it'll tell me on this. It's usually the pride of something. It's the second last day of 2018. Tomorrow's the last day. Say so them, uh, these dafts are a lovely truck, but those uh, those old XF flat cab things are horrible. Horrible old yokes. Feck all room in them as well. These are hazardous lads now. Oh no, no, they're not. They're going downstairs. Another dung heap of a Mercedes. Another dung heap. Another heap of shite. <laughs> I, I hate Volvos. I really do. I really hate them. That's how much the bean. Another dung heap. Another heap of scrap. No. <laughs> All right, lad, how you doing? Sorry, you're on the wrong side, were you? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Don't mind them, pair. Go downstairs. Won't get much sense out of them. Happy New Year. And you. Yeah, they were looking, he was looking over to uh, Billy and Mo. For the ticket, but of course. They wouldn't be giving him any ticket. So, I don't know what this is. Some of these old ramps are steep enough. I learned my lesson now, I'll tell you, with my, um, with my front bumper. The Pride of Kent. I don't think I've been on this in the last day or two. Still very quiet, like you know, com com compared to what it normally is. Normally, like it's it's stuffed with lorries. I think that's near close enough now. Okay, let's go and get some, let's go and get some dinner. Um, it's quarter to eight here now. Quarter to eight local time.
stink of cigarettes in this truck. Fucking stink of cigarettes. No matter what I do, I tried everything and I can't get it out of it. And every morning I wake up, it's the first thing I notice is a stink of cigarettes. I fucking hate the smell of cigarettes. Nothing worse than the smell of cigarettes when you're not a smoker. And I, I detest the smell of cigarettes. And we are away. We're on the move. Now what I'm going to do is I'm straight down to uh, Padu and I'm praying, I'm praying that they'll have um, diesel oil. I'm praying that they'll have diesel oil. And if they don't have diesel oil, I'm just going to have to buy it in a service area, simple as that. At three times the price of what it should be. Like yesterday, I even priced it this morning in, in, in England. And they wanted 37 pounds sterling for five litres of oil. 37, 37, 37 pounds sterling for five litres of oil. Bye. All trucks and cars getting off at the same point. And a big mad burst out the gate. Quiet enough. Still even. I know there's a little bit more activity now than what there was in the last day or so. But it's still quiet. It's the time of the year, of course. All the cars have to get into a big long queue and we just Sail on through, brother. So we're in, uh, just gone south of Leon, or not Leon, Reims here, and I'm just looking at something going on here now on the far side of the road, I hope. Lots of orange flashing lights and a, a, red, a blue flashing light. I'd say it's hopefully it's just a breakdown. Oh, it's an accident. Oh my God, there's about three or four cars involved in that. You'd wonder how in the name of God they managed that, wouldn't you? And an empty motorway. Well, bonjour, bon matin from Summer Sous en France. Um, 
I've had 10 hours off. And I'm just gonna have another hour and then I'm gonna go then. So I'm to see what the temperature is. Let's see what the temperature is reading that on that fridge. Oh, the fridge is dirty. This is a huge big parking area here in Summer Sue's. Um, it, it, this is all, all this bit is all new. It's in, been added in the last couple of years. Well, probably in the last 10 years, but uh, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely spot. I always enjoyed coming to Summer Sue's. Oh, my fridge is getting black. I always enjoyed coming to Summer Sue's. Of course, you're going to get it. You get, you get the dirty, the dirty fuckers everywhere, you know. Um, there's an Italian. But he has a Romanian. Marcello. <coughs> I hope the bloody sell oil in here now. I'd have to, sure did have to. Still a few English cars around. So let's go in here and have a look. Okay. Here we go. Radio Gaga playing in the background. Right, well the oil is 50 euro. But it's proper truck oil, so. Oh, these are always lovely. I love these French servers. Merci, madame. Uh, pour le pain. Tout est avec. Yeah, no, it's for, I have to do it separately. Si. Oh, you have, you pay for it. Oh. Uh, merci. Bonjour, monsieur. I'm sure they have a pain in their faces with people who can't speak French. I thought I had a little bit of French. But <clears throat> now this is what I had to buy. Five litres of oil, 50 euro. 49.99 for five litres of oil. So well, really nice, well done up to half that. Now, in order to open the front grill, I have to pull this handle there. And that opens up the grill. And that's, that's my engine oil there, right there. Customs, whatever they want. Now, That is the inside of the engine. Well, it's not the inside of the engine, it's the, it's what you need to get at. I don't see any dipstick, but then again, there's electronic display. There's electronic display on the, on the dash that tells you how much oil you have. And it told me my oil is low. So I'm gonna put the entire five liters into this and hopefully that'll be enough. Now, here we go. <clears throat> Jesus, that's, a, that's fucking ridiculous. It's at a stupid angle. It's at a stupid angle. So what I'm gonna have to do now is, uh, other than waste all of the, uh, the oil, I'm gonna have to get a bot. So we're just coming out onto the motorway at Summer Sue's services just below Ream. People call it Reams. The, the S is silent, so it's Ream, R E I M S. 
but you don't pronounce the S. And away we go for another full shunt. Bit of a dirty old day, but um, I don't mind. I never have any, I don't think I've ever been involved, apart from being in Paris or in a city center area, I don't think I've ever been in a traffic jam in, in France. I don't, I've never, ever been held up on a motorway in France because of an accident or anything, never. And it's only two lanes. I love France, I have to say I would, I would s stay in France all the time. I love the place. It's not really. Uh, it's not. It's not really that that bad. The weather. It's just. It's misty and murky and stuff like that. But that's no big deal for me. Um, we have an easy day today. have to drive that's all we have to do we're about uh, six, six, and a, six hours maybe six to six and a half hours from the bottom of the block I'll have to check in with my office as to what time I'm to go through the pipe at because it's a, it's a holiday in Italy tomorrow, obviously the 1st of January. Just gonna, a bit, a bit of an another. The seatbelt, sorry, it, it's, the seatbelt is, it, the noise of the seatbelt is affecting the microphone, so. Yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna go down as far as Dijon, down onto Macon, and then I'm gonna hang a left, then heading up for Annecy, in that direction. And we'll be picking up signs then for for Mont Blanc. Uh, so still a good day's work, like, no matter, matter what way you look at it, it's still a good day's work. But I, I mean, the the beauty of France is it's not like the UK, even though I have no problem with England. What you see in front of you is what you see most of the time. You don't see big queues of traffic jams on on, on, on unless you're in Paris or in around the city centre. The rest of France is like this. It's free and it's easy and it's clean. I love the service areas in France. They do smashing lovely dinners and you know, the showers are always clean when you can get a good services, that is. Uh, now the police are a bit of a problem, but if your car's right and you don't do something stupid like, <laughs> like driving when there's a driving van on, <laughs> I don't know, you know, I'm just doing what I'm told. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. I got a fridge, eh? Hey, I got a fridge on. Oh, there's a, a bit of a scene there. Wouldn't fancy dropping off that now, to be honest. And here's a big climb coming ahead. Bit of a big hill. Yeah, it's starting to tire me now. Might get away with just dropping down one gear. And I may not. That truck ahead of me must be fairly light. Because I'm not catching him at all. Nantua. It's six kilometers long, this hill is. As far as I know. Then again, as usual, I could stand to be corrected.
This is where you need the V8. This is where the big V8 comes in handy. See the temperature is slightly up there. Just have to keep an eye on the temperature. We're going up into the fog. It's getting very foggy up here, so we're not going to see much on foot in that la. I can feel my ears going. I suppose you're going to have that with heights anyway. You're going to get fog and stuff like that up on 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 a high level, which is a shame, really, but. It's a shame. That truck must have been very light because he's gone way ahead of me. fairness to the daft now she's only she's only dropped down one gear that's all just the one just which is good going 75 kilometers an hour that's not bad going now up this hill I have about a, a cargo of about 14 tons on which is not huge but so significant <sighs> This is where yawning or chewing a sweet or swallowing is is helpful. Helps equalize the pressure. I've had a few hairy moments going down that hill now over the years too. When I was at with East West, I used to be in Italy a lot with the uh, Beckton Dickinson stuff. And I'll tell you, I had a few hairy ones. Like in other words, getting brake fade, which is basically that your brakes get so hot that they won't work. I never had to go into an escape lane, but I often was gripping the steering wheel with, with white knuckles. And coming down the Blanc as well once, in the snow, I had my foot on the brake and I had the handbrake on still and it was the truck was still sliding on me. Got an awful fright. Now we have the opposite end of this. And there's a sign there. It's telling 4.4 metres is the, the maximum height for this tunnel. That's at the next exit so we're going down the hill now so we have to put our I'd say we'll have to go to we'll have to go down to um, two clicks on the retarder this is the retarder here that's it there so there's one click down I'd say we'll have to go down a second All right we're down two clicks now we'll just keep an eye on the speed it's dropping back there now just it's dropping back, but that's no harm. She's dropping back a bit much there, so I just released it for a minute. I'll stick her back on. No, I'll stick her back on to position one there. See what way she handles that.
that's the beauty you see that's when you really need a retarder on hills like this and I, I've never been to Portugal well I have been on holidays but I've never driven in Portugal and I believe some of the hills in Portugal are serious too you see I don't need to touch the brake the whole way down this hill I don't need to touch that brake at all because the retarder is doing all the work for me just give it a down to the second position there now just at the last bit there she was she was creeping away and you can knock her off then altogether so we're going to have a series of those anyway for a while series of hills and hollows and tunnels and this is a very very nice drive if you're in the summertime or springtime say April May time you get a nice sunny day coming down here and the, the, the scenery is absolutely fabulous This is all a very nice drive from here on in really. It's a shame that it's getting dark because we're going to miss out on a lot of beautiful scenery. Maybe we get lucky on the way home. Maybe we get lucky on the way home. Keep your head high for tomorrow, it is Friday By the weekend you find your peace of mind Keep her lit, keep her burning Keep those big old wheels a turning When the better days of life to take a dip Just keep the flame a glowing And forget about the morning Keep her going, keep her burning, keep her lit Just a number on the line To make the best of what you have today Just in case of our tomorrow Could bring sadness or sorrow A debt that none of us should want to pay Keep her lit, keep her burning Keep those big old wheels a turning When the better days of life to take a dip Just keep the flame a-glowing Forget about the morning, keep her going, keep her burning, keep her lit. Keep her lit, keep her burning, keep the big old wheels a turning. When the better days in life do take a dip, just keep the flame a glowing and forget about the morning. Keep her going, keep her burning, keep her lit. Just keep the flame a glowing. Forget about the morning, keep her going, keep her burning, keep her lit. Keep her going, keep her burning, keep her lit. Area, the next um the next parking area I see I'm gonna go into. It's a pain in the neck having to stop, but I'm gonna go into the next parking area I see and switch off that light. Because it's getting hard to see anything out the windscreen with that light on.
Thank you very much. Oh. It's not instant, you know, some of them are quicker than others. It's just that a couple of seconds until you're waiting for the buyer to go up, you're thinking, is it gonna go up or not? It's a bit like when you're in the shop and, and you're, you're, you're printing in your number for your visa card and you don't know whether it's gonna go through or not. It's just that couple of seconds of torture and torment. Where are you going, brother? Yeah. I said, where are you going? What's that? I don't speak any... Uh, no. <laughs> I'm in Kenya, Ukraine. Ukraine, okay. okay. I'm, I'm from Ireland. Uh, I don't know. Ireland. Ireland. Uh, mm -hmm. Anglia. Ireland, yeah. Ireland, mm -hmm. Ireland. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, Have a good trip. It's not a good Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah. Have a new year. Okay. Good. Camera это обязательно. GoPro, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Cajun fiddle man, play that fiddle like you can. Pay me back to Louisiana, the land I claim to. All my family ties are there Where magnolias fill the air How I long to be back there On some bio Diggy diggy line, pure old Joe It's right down in my soul And all that fiddle bow Cajun fiddle man well, Whatever else we have to deal with now for the rest of the week Diesel shouldn't be one of them Or lack of it I'm from Louisiana Can't see it plain as day. Every time I hear you play that fiddle like you can, rosin up your fiddle bow. Let that Cajun music flow. Play me where I wanna go, Cajun fiddle man. Diggy diggy line, pure old Joe. It's right down in my soul. Draw that fiddle bow, Cajun fiddle man. Jumble line, jolly blow. Take me back where I belong Oh, I've been a long time gone From Louisiana Diggy diggy line, pure old Joe It's right down in my soul Draw that fiddle bow Cajun fiddle man Jumble line, jolly blow Take me back where I belong Oh, I've been a long time gone From Louisiana Oh, I've been a long time gone from
Hello. Hello. Uh, no frigo parking. Uh, well, frigo it, parking. It, it, it is a sign. It's the same. Okay. Do I come back to you then? Yes, you have. I walk back. Okay, can I get the ticket then walk? Yes, 